Hello there, this is NewRick99 here with a LEGO Hero Factory review. And I'm doing a review on the LEGO Hero Factory 2011 Storm War 2.0. So yes, first we'll go over the box as always. Or well, the canister as you can call it. Ah, I knocked over Stormer. It's okay. Alright, first we have LEGO Hero Factory. Then we have Stormer in some kind of cool pose. Behind some kind of, in front of some kind of wall of fire. And you have Jetbug in the sky in the background. Um, then you have this hero stuff and you have the actually the hero tower right there. Then you have 616, 2063, 31 pieces, it's a building toy. Stormer 2.0. Then you have um, the special code on the top of the lid that will reveal something online. And um, the top is always the same. Go ahead, pause the video, and copy this code. Um, then you have Lego Hero Factory. Um, you have the awesome combined amount of which is Breeze plus Stormer equals um, the cool combined amount. I don't know the name. Then you have the Quasi Core and some boring words. So yes, now we'll go over the instructions. So you just have basically everything that was on the front. Then just the instructions to put um, put the code online. Then just building. 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 Sorry if you heard that. Um, then you have the final design. Um, the pieces. Lego Club win. So yes, now we'll go over Sturmer. He's pretty cool. Um, okay, first we'll go over the helmet. It's really cool. Sorry, my dog's barking. Um, but anyway, sorry. Um, oh my gosh. Just barking away. <laughs> she really wants something. But anyway, um, as always, the head's the same. Then you have the new piece, which looks like a mouth and some eye gear. And this special thing right here, where you can fit a little eye thing. Then just a blue head. Okay. Put all that on, and you create, create his head. Then you have a special quasi core and a special piece, which is blue this time. Let me get that off. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> It's hard to get these things off. They really stick on there. <sighs> okay, it's a new closet core, if you're wondering. And you just stick it on there. Then you have this, on the arms, you have this special arm piece. It says Stormer 2.0. Um, and then just a normal new hand. With the holes in the extra fingers. Then you have the new weapon, which has these, which are the, um, which are the spears that we see, but they're bendy. You can just put them right in there. And then it comes with this little piece. And, um, that's actually a pretty cool weapon. I think, I saw online where he's, he's like, shooting these out. So maybe that's what they do, but they don't really do that in real life. Um, and there's also this tube that connects from his back to the weapon, so I think it's really neat. Um, I think it's really cool. Then you have just some basic armor right here, and some basic armor on the legs, and then your feet. So yes. Now I'm going to give an overall rating of this guy. Let's see. Um, for the building on this guy, um... I'd have to give him maybe a, an 8, because the tube's new, and each hero has his own little glamour, so an 8. Then, um, design. Design, I'd um, have to give it maybe a, um, a 9, because, um, wait, a, a 9.25, because, um, the tube really makes up for it, but pretty much every hero's kind of the same, except just different colors and different other things. So yeah, overall view of this guy, I'm gonna give him a seven because um 
His design really cool, um, his building's really cool, but it's not good enough to make it an 8 or 9 or a 10. So yeah, this is Nickerson99, signing off.